All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, so I'm back as promised. And today we have a VCLT package from Brian Arkham. Uh, so I will put a link to Brian's channel in the description below. Uh, Brian's someone who have, I, just like Jake, um, I've had the pleasure of uh, getting to know over this past year and was so kind to send a package my way. So that's, I mean, just how cool um, this past year has been getting to know people um, who are in the uh, metal VCLT community. It's been, it's been great. And I have yet to put together my own packages, but I've saved everything. It's just building up here in the living room. Um, and my goal this weekend is to start to put together some Christmas packages for Rick, Jake, and Brian um, due to their kindness and being so giving. So uh, Brian reached out and said he had some stuff to send my way. I have not opened this up and, and looked inside. I, I cut everything open so I could just pour into it here. But um, just like the other video I did, uh, I'll just show it off and take photos later. So uh, we don't have to go through too much packaging nonsense. But anyway, in the background, like I mentioned, I'm in a huge doom sort of mood. And I've been that way actually since uh, <laughs> I got exhausted with all the death metal stuff this past summer. So in the background, we are listening to Esoteric with uh, the Maniacal Veil. That'll be playing in the background for you. And while that's going on, uh, let's get into this package here. All right. What do we have? Okay. Perfect. Once again, impeccable job, Brian, with this packaging. So we got some tapes to begin with. They're like even, oh my God, yes. Arkham Knights Volume 1, a mixtape. Okay, I, this is, I'm gonna have to edit this, but hold on a second. Cause I think they're all uh, securely taped in here. So here we go. What a gentleman. That is pristine care and precision. I am going to get a, uh, some scissors here to take this apart. Okay, so I think I did it. I've got the tapes here. All right, let's try and take a look. So, Nucleus Entity, I've heard of this. Um, so, Unspeakable Acts, I think this is kind of like progressive uh, thrash, death thrash. Kind of that like sci-fi stuff. Um, it's on Unspeakable Acts, Dark Descent. And I've seen this, like the album, or you know, the album cover here looks familiar to me, this this cover art. It's a bit subdued given that it's a tape, but um, I, I have not, so I don't own this, um, but I believe I am kind of familiar with what's to come on that record. Or tape, I should say. So, number one, first tape, Nucleus Entity. <laughs> Iron Spell. Electric, electric Conjuring. I'm completely unfamiliar with this. From 2016, Roots Active Productions. Just looking at the uh, sort of cover there, it looks, um, I'm gonna go with some traditional sort of, some trad metal. Um, yeah, it looks very like 1980s uh, in terms of its album artwork. So I have no idea about that one. What else we got? Uh, trench Stench. Trifecta of Perfecta. 
um, on life after death. So I'm going to say something that says kind of like, uh, tormented in the cellar, trifecta of perfecta, limb extraction, morgue, orgy, deep down. So some, I'm getting some like really gross uh, death metal. You know, that all that sloppy, disgusting, soggy death metal. Don't know that one. I'm gonna get to this mixtape last. So, uh, putrid entrails, stench of visceral despoilment. Oh, this is another life after death. I'm unfamiliar with this as well, but once again, it kind of goes with the theme of um, the previous trench stench. Uh, I'm gonna guess more, more death metal there. And pre-dawn, this is on, is it old something, old skull? Can't quite, I think that's the, the name of the label. Um, Pre-dawn though, I don't, man, I'm gonna go with, Man, is there some like horns happening there in the middle of the desert? I'm, I don't know. So Brian, I know I was talking before about Jake and I said that his channel is kind of known for atmospheric black metal, which is kind of true, but he has pretty diverse tastes. You know, Brian's another someone who, someone who uh, has an incredibly diverse sort of, like a lot of new stuff and plenty of old stuff. Um, I think, if, if anything, for all his diversity, I know him as being a, I think Alice in Chains is his favorite band, yet his, he is a defender of all thing Bongzilla. Um, so, I don't know if this is gonna be stonery. I don't know if that like desert thing is, is part of a, but it's like sci-fi desert. Anyway, I have no clue what's on that. I don't know the label either, so I really don't know what to expect. But I'll go in that one completely blind. Then this Arkham Knights Volume One. This is amazing. So Hellstar, Scavenger, Last Rocket, Talon, Malaya Rage, Destructor, Virgin Steel. It looks like predominantly Quartz, um, Wasp, Jaguar, sort of Uncle, Dokken, Attila. I mean, this is mostly a trad. That is super cool. I mean, what a gentleman. That's awesome. Arkham Knights. I I probably need to do a review of this. Like just actually sit down with the tape and listen to it. And uh, appreciate this kind of effort. Um, anyway, that is, I have nothing but praise and a big time thanks, Brian, for um, putting this together. That's so much fun. Okay. And then this thorn, um, I've seen this circulating around. I know um, this is uh, some, some death metal. Um, a lot of people have been talking about you know, being one of the better death metal releases this year on CD. I don't own it. No, nothing that he's given me so far I actually own. So, um, But I have not, other than just like seeing this everywhere, I actually haven't listened to it. So uh, that would be cool to get a chance to actually give this a shot in, in a dedicated sort of listening fashion. Okay, so we've moved out of the tapes and the CD here. It looks like we got a little bit more to go. And this is a vinyl, one record, okay. And this is, let's see how, it's this protected little piece of, what a man. Uh, the time and care he took to make this. Okay. Huh. I, I'm unfamiliar with this one. Molog Try. It has a, it's listed on the front here. Pull it out and 
Oh, check that out. Some pretty looking vinyl variant. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is. Try... I guess, I guess that band name is Moloch. My wife's gonna get a kick out of this, really, like, watching me struggle to <laughs> read band names. Um, very cool. Show all that good stuff off. Yep, I don't know what that is at all. So, I will trust Brian to surprise me. I've got so much listening to do given the uh, kindness and giving nature. Everyone here on the VCLT, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this package. Yep, okay. Big thank you, Brian. Now, I, when I uh, was taking everything apart and looking, I, he threw this in here and I got a brief Um, I mean, what do you even say to that? I, I mean, he's just, he's, uh, you know, thanks me for the, the stuff on my channel and so and so forth. But, uh, you know, I appreciate the support. I don't know if this is just like a calling card for you, um, or... Uh, ever, I should just expect, when I think of you, Brian, this is the, the man you would like me to, to be, but, uh, yeah, I mean, what, what a handsome gentleman. So, thank you so much, Brian, and, um, yeah. Okay, I've saved all the packaging, I'll be sending stuff out probably here in December, because, I'll balance kind of the things I want to send uh, the three of you, Rick, Brian, and Jake. Um, but thank you so much for your kindness. And uh, after that, there's like a larger project that is doom oriented that I'll be putting together, but we're talking about weeks down the road. So anyway, until then, thank you so much, Brian. And uh, you'll be getting something here in the near future. Anyway, see you guys later, bye.